Right, so here's a question, and it's one that I get asked all the time. And the question is, how do I get brilliant sound from a tall and good looking speaker without spending an arm and a leg. And my answer is always the same, you know. I say you have to buy a pair of Q Acoustics 3050i loudspeakers. Now, here's a box and it has inside it one Q Acoustics 3050i loudspeaker. So I'm gonna open it so we can all have a look. That is everything, so I may as well just get rid of this box now. This speaker has been unboxed. Right, well, let's see what we've got in here. Accessories, it says, which is generally almost as exciting as the thing itself. So, a plinth, some screws, some spikes, and an Allen key. That really ought to be everything, let's make sure. Right, so in here should be everything we need to get this speaker standing upright, including some rubber covers for the spikes in case your floor is more precious than mine is. So there's a couple of screws which are gonna hold this foot on. Foot is attached, now we just need to put the spikes into each corner so that the speaker stays nicely isolated from the floor and nice and stable on the floor at the same time. And when I've got all four of these in, I am then going to put their little rubber feet on. Because I'll let you into a secret, this isn't my floor. All right, take it to bag off. So, the grill is held on magnetically, which is nice because it means the whole baffle has no screw holes or anything like that. It's a nice, clean look. The uh, mid base drivers are 165 millimeters each, and the decoupled soft dome tweeter is a 22 millimeter device. Now, if you haven't seen the video that we made unboxing uh, a Concept 500 loudspeaker, You'll get to that, of course, it's thoroughly entertaining, but there is a lot of trickle-down technology from the 500, which is a far more expensive loudspeaker than this, uh, and that has all been applied into the 3050i. So what you're getting really for quite an affordable price is a lot of technology, a lot of engineering expertise that originated in the speaker that costs a lot more money than this. Well, around the back of the 3050 eyes, it's not absolutely as interesting as the front, but it's nevertheless worth discussing. So down towards the bottom of the cabinet here, there's an extremely generous base reflex port, which can be bunged using the bung that came in the box. Uh, either way, you can see there's gonna be a, quite a lot of air movement from uh, a port of that diameter, and the closer you get to a rear wall with that, the more you're gonna reinforce uh, the low frequencies and the bigger and bassier sound you'll get. And then towards the bottom of the cabinet are these speaker binding posts. Q Acoustics like a low profile post because it allows you to put the speaker closer to the wall. They'll still take a four millimeter banana plug though. Uh, and then there's a little uh, tag saying that these were designed and voiced using QED speaker cable. You could do a lot worse. So that's the Q Acoustics 3050i. It's a floor standing loudspeaker that's specified and engineered like a far more expensive product. You can take my word for that, but if you want more information about the 3050i or any of the other speakers in the Q Acoustics range, just visit the Q Acoustics website. Your world of entertainment starts with the pristine sound of Sony CS speakers. Perfect for listening to your favorite music in lifelike two-channel stereo. Or add 5.1.2 Dolby Atmos surround sound for the ultimate home theater experience. From the subtle to the most epic moments, high-res audio clarity meets wide directionality and powerful bass response, bringing 75 years of audio component mastery to your favorite entertainment. Fast action, intense drama, and everything in between. It all starts with well-balanced sound in front of you while every bit of dialogue and vocal subtlety is perfectly centered for maximum clarity. 
Then come the rear bookshelf speakers to bring depth and distance, creating the ideal surround sound experience. Then the subwoofer hides in plain sight, bringing low end intensity. And for sound on high, Dolby Atmos toppers push sound overhead to you. Hear movies and music like you never have before, because your favorite entertainment starts with Sony CS speakers. Right, so here's a question, and it's one that I get asked all the time. And the question is, how do I get brilliant sound from a tall and good looking speaker without spending an arm and a leg? And my answer is always the same, you know? I say you have to buy a pair of Q Acoustics 3050i loudspeakers. Now, here's a box, and it has inside it one Q Acoustics 3050i loudspeaker. So I'm gonna open it so we can all have a look. That is everything, so I may as well just get rid of this box now. This speaker has been unboxed. Right, well, let's see what we've got in here. Accessories, it says, which is generally almost as exciting as the thing itself. So, a plinth, some screws, some spikes, and an Allen key. That really ought to be everything, let's make sure. Right, so in here should be everything we need to get this speaker standing upright, including some rubber covers for the spikes in case your floor is more precious than mine is. So there's a couple of screws which are gonna hold this foot on. Foot is attached, now we just need to put the spikes into each corner so that the speaker stays nicely isolated from the floor and nice and stable on the floor at the same time. And when I've got all four of these in, I am then going to put their little rubber feet on. Because I'll let you into a secret, this isn't my floor. All right, so take its bag off. So, the grill is held on magnetically, which is nice because it means the whole baffle has no screw holes or anything like that. It's a nice, clean look. The uh, 
Mid base drivers are 165 millimeters each and the decoupled soft dome tweezer is a 22 millimeter device. Now, if you haven't seen the video that we made unboxing uh, a Concept 500 loudspeaker, you'll get to that, of course, it's thoroughly entertaining, but there is a lot of trickle-down technology from the 500, which is a far more expensive loudspeaker than this, uh, and that has all been applied into the 3050i. So what you're getting really for quite an affordable price is a lot of technology, a lot of engineering expertise that originated in a speaker that costs a lot more money than this. Well, around the back of the 3050i, it's not absolutely as interesting as the front, but it's nevertheless worth discussing. So down towards the bottom of the cabinet here, there's an extremely generous base reflex port, which can be bunged using the bung that came in the box. Uh, either way, you can see there's gonna be a, quite a lot of air movement from uh, a port of that diameter, and the closer you get to a rear wall with that, the more you're gonna reinforce uh, the low frequencies and the bigger and bassier sound you'll get. And then towards the bottom of the cabinet are these speaker binding posts. Q Acoustics like a low profile post because it allows you to put the speaker closer to the wall. They'll still take a four millimeter banana plug though. Uh, and then there's a little uh, tag saying that these were designed and voiced using QED speaker cable. You could do a lot worse. So that's the Q Acoustics 3050i. It's a floor standing lounge speaker that's specified and engineered like a far more expensive product. You can take my word for that, but if you want more information about the 3050i or any of the other speakers in the Q Acoustics range, just visit the Q Acoustics website. So the Kendall floor standing speaker, this is at the top of the line for KLH and what a fabulous speaker. So as all the KLH speakers have a name referencing somewhere on the MIT campus, the Kendall is named after Kendall Square. This speaker will have two six and a half inch woofers, one five and a quarter inch mid range and a one inch anodized tweeter. It's a 250 watt speaker and it has a frequency response of 25 hertz to 23,000 hertz and is also an eight ohm speaker and it is fully designed in the USA. The speaker itself looks gorgeous and it's outfitted with a real wood veneer. You have a brushed aluminum, which goes exactly with the grain of the wood, laser etched in logo right here. And again, I love the look of this woven Kevlar in the speaker. Looks really nice. The speaker is available in two finishes. In front of me, you have the walnut finish. It's also available in a black oak finish, but both the black or the walnut finish, the grill will also be black. If you look at the bottom of the speaker, you have two options for mounting it on your floor. If you have hardwood floors, you can actually put on rubber feet. We opted for, since we have carpet here, the spikes, which help get the speaker up off the floor and makes the bass sound tighter and bigger. The speaker does come with a grill. You can see it right here. You get the logo on the bottom. And it uses magnets, so there's no visible fasteners for the grill. It just clips right on and comes off really, really easy too. On the back of the speaker, you'll find your two portholes and four terminals. In case you haven't seen this before, some speakers come with two terminals, some come with four. Four is so you can either buy wire or buy amplify the speaker. So just some key specifications for you. One I really like to talk about is sensitivity. Now this speaker has a rating of 96 dB. That means with one watt of power, you're gonna get 96 decibels of sound, which a concert is about 110, 120 decibels of sound. So with only one watt of power, this speaker is really, really easy to drive and you're gonna get a ton of sound out of it. You can use the Kendalls as either a good pair of stereo speakers for an audio stereo system, or it can become the surround sound system with accompanying products from KLH. They make center channels and rear surrounds and subwoofers to give you a great home theater system. A lot of the speakers in these price points, you either get really great highs and not a lot of bass, or you get a lot of bass and kind of the, the tweeters don't sound so good, the highs aren't so good, but this speaker really delivers and fires on all cylinders every area of the sound. The highs, the mids, the lows have a lot of impact and it's really, really enjoyable to listen to. What a fantastic job they did.